<clears throat> proceeds of fresh issue proceeds of fresh issue should be equal to the face value of the preference share capital to be redeemed now what is proceeds in order to compute the number of shares to be issued the number of new shares to be issued what do we do we divide the the face value of preference share capital to be redeemed by the proceeds of fresh issue of a single share this will give us the number of new shares to be issued when the shares are issued at par whether it's the amount received that is the issue price issue price or the face value both are the same therefore there is no confusion but when the shares are issued at a premium we take the face value we take the face value so if a fresh share if suppose let us take an example where the face value of preference shares to be redeemed is equal to 10 lakhs and let us say that a share is being issued new shares of rupees 10 each are being issued for rupees 20 for rupees 20 at a premium of rupees 10 so what do we have now equity share of rupees 10 being issued at a premium of rupees 10 total price 20 Now, face value of preference shares to be redeemed is ten lakh. Now, how many shares need to be issued to find out the number of shares? Do I divide by twenty or do I do I divide by ten? When shares are issued at a premium, we take the face value. That means we divide by ten. Ten lakh divided by ten, we come to one lakh equity shares. This is because though ten rupees comes in, extra ten rupees premium comes in. Securities premium cannot be used to redeem preference shares. Securities premium has four limited uses. We cannot use it for redemption of preference shares, though it can be used to set off the premium on redemption of preference shares. So when shares are issued at a premium. in order to find out the minimum number or the number of equity or preference shares to be issued as fresh issue we consider the face value when shares are issued at a discount let us take again an example of a rupees 10 share which is issued at rupees 8 in that case the face value of preference shares to be redeemed is equal to 10 lakh this divided by now we take the issue price and not the face value that is we divide it by 8 and we arrive at one lakh 25000 shares we issue more shares we consider 8 here here in this situation the share capital the new capital the equity share capital which is being issued now will have a total share capital of 12 lakh 50000 though preference shares which are being redeemed are 10 lakh this is because the actual proceeds the amount that we actually receive is only 8 we are conservative and we prefer to issue greater number of shares in order to protect the interests of creditors and other outsiders so in short what is the proceeds of fresh issue when shares are issued at par it is the face value or issue price it does not matter both are the same when they are issued at a premium we consider the face value when shares are issued at a discount proceeds of fresh issue means the issue price not the face value therefore 
in brief we can say it is either issue price or it is face value whichever is lower whichever is lower the logic i repeat once more when shares are issued at a premium securities premium cannot be used for redemption of preference shares and therefore we consider only the face value when new shares are issued at a discount when new shares are dis issued at a discount the amount received is lower we are conservative and we consider the actual amount which is received so that we can issue greater number of shares collect money and go ahead and redeem the preference shares so what do we mean by proceeds of fresh issue the proceeds of fresh issue is either the face value or the issue price whichever is lower if it is at par it does not matter if it is at premium we take the face value if it is at discount we take the issue price this is useful in order to find out the number of shares to be issued 